Hi there everybody, sorry about that bumpy start. Uh, we're here at the end of week three of the semester and I thought it was timely to send a message via YouTube um, just to touch base with everybody in a more direct way and to say a few words about the tutorial program and also uh, make some response to the first round of tutorials. Um, I, as I explained in some of the written posts on the Meta unit page, my logic in the tutorials is quite different from that of giving you 50 pages a week to read and then everybody respond uh, to a particular set of questions about that reading. My interest is to actually use the tutorial to develop some hooks for you to hang on to as you proceed through this unit. And I think an effective way of doing that is to give you something that's very, very focused, a question that draws attention to one particular or perhaps a small number of issues that have come up in the, the particular topic for that week. So therefore encouraging you to then bring your own thoughts and your learnings to focus around a particular issue. And of course this doesn't mean that uh, you don't keep on doing the reading that is uh, set the and the suggested further reading and keeping up with the lecture notes and developing your learning through your acquaintance with those readings. So um, I hope that you're finding that a helpful process as I say, the aim is to bring something into quite sharp focus and uh, to build your learnings around that over the, um, the course of the semester. Um, I, I need to remind you also that uh, contribution to the tutorials is a requirement and I uh, notice that not everybody has yet taken part in uh, the first, tutor first combined tutorial and uh, I encourage you to do that. I'm going to leave that one open uh, for another until Tuesday of next week and uh, then the, that first combined tutorial will be closed so you need to make your contribution by then. Um, as a rule I will leave the tutorials open for perhaps 10 days. I think it might be helpful to leave them open for, for longer than the week uh, just to give people a chance to mull over things and, and, and have extra time to respond. Um, I hope too that as time develops we can develop some conversation on the tutorial site. Uh, some people are responding and that's really good but I would encourage you all to, to make a response to the other contributions that your fellow students are making. So to respond to that first uh, set of uh, tutorial posts, uh, responding to Bart's quote and his image of theology as the masterpiece such as the cathedrals of Europe uh, obviously the, the issue that's come up in the posts that has been contributed that have been contributed so far uh, are revolving around the suitability or um, the usefulness of Bart's analogy of, of something being well planned. I think there's some really good comments made about that uh, and like all analogies uh, it has its limits uh, and it also has its possibilities. As I was thinking and reading through the responses myself, the idea that came to mind was whether, in fact, Bart might have made his point better if he talked perhaps less about a plan and more about intentionality. I think perhaps the, um, the, the strength of the analogy of being planned is that there is a sense in which, however creative someone might be, there comes a point where creativity can be occurring to a degree where uh, you're no longer working with the same style or genre and it's no longer recognisable as that. And I think what Bart is probably saying and trying to, to make the point that theology and theologians actually work with a measure of intentionality so that their work can be recognised as a contribution to Christian theology. Um, even if it's creative, even if it's actually challenging theology that's come before, it's still recognised to be part of that same discourse. Um, so I hope that you uh, find that reading helpful and, and the discussion about the, the analogy of, of the cathedrals and the theology being a masterpiece. Um, there are many other analogies of course for Christian theology and the work of theologians and uh, that's just one and you'll keep coming across different analogies as we go through the unit. Um, there was one other point that I was going to, to make about that and that is the um, as I think it was Bethany who actually uh, made this point about how well would uh, non-theologically trained people actually be able to make sense of Bart's comments. It's a fair question, uh, but at the same time, um, yes, Bart was actually 